Hello everyone and welcome back to another Rise of Kingdom video. This is your boy Jerani and today we have the update finally hitting the game. The Egypt civilization alongside their commanders Tatbos the third and Inhotep. Also the two new Archer commanders Boudicca and Henry. So quite a lot of commanders have been introduced recently into the game. But in today's video I want to talk about Tatbos the third and I want to give you his best talents, his best pairing and where exactly will he be useful? My recommendation for Tatmos the third is KVK 1, 2 and 3 at most. When it comes to Season of Conquest, I don't recommend investing in Tatmos the third because you already notice the difference, for example, when some of these newish commanders are being introduced. So if we have to compare the primary skill, Boudicca does 2300 damage facto, on a primary target and increasing the skill damage taken by the target by up to 35 which is pretty huge also reducing the march speed so that's quite a lot of utilities rally wise and field fighting wise and when you look at hatmos for example it has a thousand which is not even half <laughs> it's less than half and then he has healing effect reduction by 30 percent which is nothing important a target healing less that's quite all right <laughs> that's not a problem it's not a big debuff if you would have had like a 30 percent health reduction then i could have said something well yeah 30 percent health reduction for five seconds that's something but healing i mean come on and if you go further you you see the second skill of Boudicca, you see attack mars speed defense under 80 percent but 80 percent it's doesn't take long to achieve it so it's pretty fast achievable and then when we go on the Tatmos we have Archer attack 15% 10% march speed and damage bonus and the damage bonus you only get it outside alliance territory so if you're defending and you want to use it on your territory you're only benefiting of 15% attack and march speed which is pretty empty if you want to ask me so there is quite a lot of options for season of conquest Tatmos the third is not the one. For KVK 1, 2 and 3, however, if you want to have multiple Archer options, then definitely you have to go for Tatmos the third. I also like Imhotep primary skill. I think it's pretty OP, especially when you expertise him and he is an epic, so it sh shouldn't be an issue expertising epic. 30% damage taken by the target up to five targets as an active skill that's pretty huge in my opinion but i'm gonna talk about in hotep in a separate video this video is about hatmos the third and regarding about legendaries you want to know approximately how expensive they are because kvk 1 2 and 3 goes pretty fast so trying to save as many universals for season of conquest when you're gonna get 30 plus legendaries unlocked from the list that's when you want to have the most universals. So you want to make sure that you do proper investments and have the right amount of universals when you reach Season of Conquest. The reason I put in the title as the Richard Buster is because he has this healing effect reduction, right? And in KVK1, there is a lot of Richards running around. And obviously that is infantry. Richard is being used with infantry. So having an Archer commander that also reduces healing effect and does damage to the target it also has an instant damage as well and taking less counter-attack damage which is kind of what richard does because richard doesn't have any kind of skill damage right he's just very tanky he's healing a lot so bringing back a lot of troops and doing a lot of counter-attack damage normal attack and so on so this what i believe is that tatmos was kind of brought in for this particular purpose to try to counter richard particularly for kvk 1 2 and possibly three making the target to take more damage rather than reducing the healing i would find this more beneficial the only good thing that i like about tatmos the third is the fact that he does aoe aoe i um, was always fond of aoe because you're damaging multiple targets right and the possibility that you're only being hit by one target or spe specifically when you're swarming a target if you're doing a lot of aoe and usually in a murder ball there is a lot of marches around if you're doing aoe you're hitting other marches as well so having debuff even though it's not a big deal debuff 
but still having debuffs it will help out your other members as well i like when i get march speed on archer commanders and infantry commanders so the march speed is really nice to see on uh, tatmos the third a little bit of attack and some damage bonus outside the land's territory 15 percent damage bonus it is considered all damage he is getting a little bit of defense which is really nice and he has a chance to increase the skill damage on the target, which is a debuff. But unfortunately, it is once every 8 seconds, so that's pretty rare. They should have made it every 5 seconds. There would have been something, because you kind of got only 10% chance anyway. But still, it is a debuff on the target. So if there is other skill damaging marches, maybe you have another archer march or two archer marches. Because now with these two commanders, I think you have a lot of possibilities in KVK1 when it comes to archers. You could potentially nuke down a and take down some richers pretty fast. And we already seen his four skill with the instant damage. And then we got his expertise. After using an active skill, troops deal 30% more normal attack damage for three seconds. And again, this can trigger once every eight seconds. They should have made it on a five second rotation. We have commanders that have more powerful expertises, and some of them will be unlocked in KVK2, which it says for 2 seconds after using an active skill, all normal attack and counter attack deal 50% increased damage, which you don't really see a big difference after using an active skill. So what will 30% normal attack damage do? Probably not that much. So as a 5-5, I would say that uh, Tatmos is good to go, but I would recommend to get the third skill as well to get that 10% defense and the debuff on the target. If you get this one only with one, it's quite all right. That's still 300 damage factor. Of course, if you have it max, it will be even better. So if you're thinking that maybe a 5515 would work better so you can get the full direct damage factor or the fourth skill, then definitely go for that. But I would say that you really need to be a well to invest in Tatmos for KVK 1, 2 and 3. Or a high spender, probably even a medium spender. Someone that buys the gold heads from the VIP shop all the time. Wins a lot of 20 gold head sculptures to worth it to expertise. For KVK 1, 2 and 3, you have YSG. Which YSG has been the MVP of Archers for a very long time. If I show you um, over here, 110 million kills, 111 almost million kills. So that can tell you that he is a killer when it comes on killing. <laughs> because his expertise with his circular area is just too good. The commander is not yet known from where exactly can be obtained. So for example, if you want to click on the plus, it says event. So this doesn't really warm me up quite a lot. I'm expecting this to be another goal key commanders, same as Elcid. Maybe he might be in some of the MGE's wheels for KVK1 at some point in time. Who knows? But again, not a priority you should work on. However, if you do Maxim as a well in KVK1, 2 and 3, it will definitely be very helpful. You will kill those Richards pretty fast if you're investing in all these archer commanders as pairings for tatmos the third he could definitely work with any archer commanders he could work with ysg he could work with herman he could work with kusunoki with elcid but if you're investing in tatmos the third my recommendation is that elcid and tatmos they should be in two different archer marches same is herman because they all have march speed and you want to balance them you don't want one archer march to be too slow or one archer march to be so fast so you got tatmos that gives you march speed you got elsie that gives you march speed you got herman that gives you march speed for kvk one two and three and um, those three should be in separate marches once you reach kvk two you have edward which is available and it gets a lot more march speed so this could be potentially your fourth archer march because edward and tomiris they are kind of a pair when it comes for that so i'm pretty sure that if you really want to go heavy on archers for kvk 1 2 and 3 you have the the potential to do it 
and you'll knock down infantry quite good. I would say that Tatmos the third best pair it would be with Imhotep. I find Imhotep 4k VK 1, 2 and 3 to be an exceptional debuffing commander. Once you get his expertise, 30% damage increase on up to 5 targets whenever he's using his primary skill and as long as Imhotep is a second in command, you're also debuffing them with less rage. And when you think about Richard has defense tree, Charles has, has defense tree, which don't generate a lot of rage. So trying to take even 50 rage from that, it will be pretty de devastating, particularly for infantry. So here is a potential scenario. You have Tatmos with Imhotep, Imhotep being uh, the second in command. Then you have an Elcid and YSG, the general Elcid and YSG. And then if you want to do a third Archer March 4K VK1, you could potentially do Herman and Kusunoki or Herman F. Mehmed if it's ready. And then when it comes to KVK2 and KVK3, I would drop the epics. Definitely epics could be useful in KVK1, but after that you want to go with legendary. So as a third march for KVK2 and 3, you could do Edward and Tomiris. As you didn't know, Tomiris basically needs the four skill max so you can apply those debuffs on the target. So as long as you have a 5-1-1-5 Tomiris for KVK2, you will be good. Edward 5511 or 5551, if you have enough sculptures, then it's definitely going to be useful. So you can have some really solid archer marchers for KVK1, 2, and 3. Regarding his talent trees, I'm going to make sure to post the, some pictures that I have done because Amanitor has the same talent tree except the versatility, but there is nothing in the versatility that you need. There is two options that I really like when it comes to Tatmos the third on his support talent tree. You can go on a full Archer build having the all the flavors on, on the Archer tree and then you have the Rejuvenate from the support tree, which I really like that one. It's quite an amazing talent tree and that's the one that I would recommend when it comes to Tatmos. However, if you want more protection on your Archers, particularly from skills, there is the second build where you still get a big chunk of the Archer tree and you have the full flavor of the support tree as well. That one is a nice time tree as well, but pay attention to the Rejuvenate, it's only 2 out of 3. If you want to go full support, as you have Imhotep, or how I would recommend to your start mode the 3rd with Imhotep as a second in command, and you want to go full support, then I've done another time tree which will help you for that. That's all I have to say about him, because... There is much better option. I mean, there is no reason to hide it. There is no reason to, to try to say great things about him when there is much, much better option for him and uh, later on being completely useless. So you definitely want to do investments that will help you out on longer terms like YSG, for example. So let me know in the comment section below what you think about Tatmos the Third, and I'll see you on the next one. This is your boy Jeroni signing off. Peace out here and take care. See you on the next one and stay safe out there, my friends.